Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Halo Fan 3 today, and today I'm doing a review on the Halo Megbox Banshee Blitz. Um, sorry guys, I'm doing this not on my floor, but at my desk. That's outside of my room. So, my room's right over there by the way. It's in this little section. So, yep. So, a review on the Banshee Blitz, huh? Very cool set. I really do like it. Um, of course, I don't play with my Halo stuff. Uh, if you guys are noticing what I'm doing, I'm just pulling off dog hair because I build with stuff. With dogs. Not really, but like, see that? The ding from piece of dog hair. Alright. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, I'm doing a review on the Halo Mike Blocks Banshee Blitz. Um, I'm not going to get the instructions and show you guys the figures and so forth. Just because, um... Ugh, this guy don't want to move. So, yeah. Yeah, this guy's not moving anywhere. <laughs> yep. So, this is the Halo Megbox Banshee Blitz review. So, let's get to it. So, first thing I'm going to do a review on is... Uh, Sorry guys about that, but that is the turret itself. Now, there we go. The turret itself is pretty big, actually. Uh, I wish I could angle the barrels down a little bit more, but I kind of super glued these black pieces in. Not those ones, but I super glued the other ones in. Not that one, but I super glued this side in right here. Ooh, look how long you can make that. <laughs> that looks stupid, actually. But hold on guys, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that guys. I was fixing my gun here. So, yep. Okay, so I made it to where this one can move now. So they could go down all the way to there. And move up all the way up to there. Um, this church is pretty big actually. It comes with this base right here. For some reason this side's flat. I don't know why they would do that. You'd probably think of them building something, an extension thing or something. So that they could fit a figure right here. Um, you can, you guys can customize that yourselves too, uh, customize it to where you can extend it and put a figure right here, just make it act like you're controlling it. Um, this piece can't come out, but it's attached to this whole piece right here, because he had left it attached to this piece, um, because I bought this out of a lot. There's the bottom. I got to admit though, I really did not like putting this piece on right here. Uh, it was kind of hard attaching it to all these pieces without this piece or this piece falling off. But it was pretty nice. Um, I enjoyed the build pretty easily, pretty fast. But yeah. Um, so, pretty cool. I like it. So, yep. Pretty cool. Alright, uh, it's in a green color as you guys can see. It's got caution stickers all over these four plates. Um, you could attach it to a platform. I want one of those gray platforms, you know those big gray Lego pieces or whatever. That's about this big, about that big. So if you guys can send me the one of those at least, that would be very appreciated. Uh, so yep, pretty cool. Uh, the turret itself uh, is super cool. It's a little bit heavy. It came out larger than I thought. If you guys see a Chub Lobster's uh, review on this, his is pretty cool too. Um, so yeah. But this set did come with figures. I'm just too lazy to go get them right now. So, yeah. Um, so that's the green piece. It's got stickers all over it. It's got stickers on the side right there. None in the back, on the side right there, some right here, even in the front. Uh, none on the barrels, these are pretty easy to come out. Um, okay, I guess you could do that. So, yep. Pretty cool. And then that's all they're attached to. I actually super glued that one in. Because uh, it was loosey doosey. And as before, I found a spare, which is blue right there. So, but that you, you'll barely see that one if you keep the barrels in. And then, yeah, so 
pretty cool. Uh, it actually does look marine type, but I just wish my only complaint about this is that I wish they had put an extension for a figure. I'm going to see if you can get remotely, <coughs> excuse me, probably remotely active. So that's that. Now to the Banshee itself. Super cool Banshee. Pretty big as well. Um, I think I've already done a review on this, but I'm not sure. If you guys are noticing, there's no sticker blasts right there, but there's only one right here. So I might take that off because this came... With stickers already attached to it, which is weird. So, yep. No, I'll just do it right now. So, yeah. This is pretty cool Banshee. I think it's one of the best Banshees they've made so far. Um, there you go. Super easy. So, pretty cool. Um, I like how this piece can open up like that. It opens very smoothly. And I like the other Banshees. They just go, whoosh, whoosh. And it actually covers the entire... Piece, you know what I'm saying? It covers the entire banshee. Like, it covers the entire cockpit. Not like the other ones where there's a huge gap right here. Uh, the inside of it is pretty cool. It could, you got the handlebars. No stickers on the inside. Man, I think I'm getting sick. That sucks. The first day, my mom is gone and I want to wear shorts to school today. I get sick. Um, pretty cool. Uh, these guns right here can move up and down, I'm pretty sure. Nope. So they're kind of attached to stuff so they cannot move up and down so they just stay straight. Um, I like how it has these fin pieces right here. You guys can see those? They're like curved hockey type things. Um, another cool thing about this is that, oh, excuse me guys, it's the weekend and like, it's like 10 o'clock at night, so, uh, but I wish they had put this a little bit higher up in the air with these clear bits because these plastic piece right here are like touching it, but it's easy to move around if you guys really want to act like you're driving it, then you guys will have to control it manually to, uh, Last it off. So a very cool set. Uh, and this sucks. Like I said, cockpit and everything. But the fins, these pieces right here can come out. Right there. They just look like a little bit sword pieces. Um, and then they just clip into these little holes right here. Not really clip in, but they just slide in. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then, I think he came, this set came with the, um, what's it called? An Elite. It's a Marine, I'm pretty sure. So, if you guys don't, oh yeah, it came with an orange EVA, and, because I'm just remembering this from Child Lobsters. We both came with an orange EVA and a gray, um, yeah, that's what it is. So, it came with a orange EVA with a gray pilot, which you can interchange the head for a regular elite. So, how about I just pause the video and I'll glue those figures for you guys right now. Alright guys, we got them for you. Um, here's the orange EVA right here. Pretty cool figure. He's got that nice orange wash to him. Uh, for some reason, they always give a figure like a Master Chief Jump Pack Brute type thing. Jump Pack Brute? What am I thinking? They always give like the figures like a Jump Pack type thing. Uh, he's got that nice wash to him. Dirtyish wash. He's pretty cool. He's just a normal EVA though. Okay, then we got that gray pilot I was talking, telling you guys about that it comes with. It's got that nice turquoise color up there. Nice gray, and of course, here's the head that you can interchange them with. So I don't like to do that because I like the pilots better than the elites. 
so pretty cool so that is my review on the halo mega block bench blitz uh, this is from halo reach by the way and so is this one i'm pretty sure but i know for sure this one's from halo reach because this is the banshee from the one mission in halo reach where you go to space and stuff so pretty cool and you fly the saber so yep pretty cool guys i hope you guys smashed that like button please give this video a thumbs up same thing and please subscribe to my channel and yeah so if you guys could send me one of those uh big plate things i'd be very happy about that and i could possibly send you guys something and maybe do some trades so tell me in the comments down below if you guys want to trade or not so yep this is the 023 signing off